I mean, he is a psychopath, but I don't know how to stop loving my children. There so. are many experts who've said to you, he remains potentially highly dangerous. Yes. Uh, he's due for parole in a few years. Are you not worried that, yeah. that when he comes out, he, he might come and try and kill you? Yeah, I do worry. I mean, I, I'm afraid of Paris still, but it's possible to love him and forgive him and still be afraid of him. But once Paris walks out of those prison gates, at that point, how dangerous do you think he could potentially be? I think under the right set of circumstances, he would do it again. Psychopaths, unlike the rest of us, don't show emotion when confronted by situations that we would find distressing. I wonder how Paris will handle this. You call 911. Have you heard back the, the tape of that call yourself? No, but I've been told about it many, many times. We have a copy. I was going to play it to you just to get your reaction to it, if that's all right with you. I really don't want to hear that tape. You don't want to hear it? I don't want to hear that tape. Why do you fear hearing it? I don't fear hearing it. I know that hearing that tape is going to cause me to break down. And when I leave this interview room, I have to go back out into a public environment where any sign of distress or emotional weakness is bait to predators. He doesn't want to hear it because he thinks it's going to upset him, but we haven't seen an emotion on his face yet. Yeah. He doesn't want us to play it because then we will continue to see his flat affect, his, his complete lack of emotion, lack of empathy, lack of feeling. Well, and he might have to actually try to <coughs> fake some tears. We are about to play you that 911 call. Paris sounds convincing, but forensic evidence has proved that he is lying. Traveling 911. I accidentally killed somebody. You think you killed somebody? My sister, I stabbed her. Okay, where'd you stab her? Um, lots of places. I didn't mean to. I, was I, I know. Let's go ahead and try CPR, okay? I want you to put your hands on her chest, but I want you to push 30 times. All right. Go ahead, count. He counts along with the 911 operator. One, two, three, when in fact he was just walking around with he the He wasn't even in the, in the bedroom. He fakes that he's doing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you remember what happened after the emergency services turned up at the house? I remember that a male officer walking past me into the bedroom, and I remember hearing him mutter, Oh my God, when he saw what I had done. And I remember, I just felt like I was drowning in shame, knowing that they saw what I had done and knew that I had, had done it. She's a beautiful little girl. The detectives covered Ella up to her neck so she could see her daughter's very beautiful face. And I hated, I hated to see Ella, but I also didn't like Charity having to see her daughter like that. This is Paris Bennett reporting live. This is Ella's ball pit reporting live. It's Ella's ball pit. This, this, is the sus suspect of the dirty diaper. Okay, creating dirty diaper. Ella. Ella Lee bit it. What, what do you have to say, Ella? Your sister Ella was just a young girl, obviously. What were your feelings towards her as her brother, her older brother? We could sit here and talk all day about my feelings for my sister. Uh, a description of my feelings isn't something that I can give you in the brief time that we have together because I loved her. I loved her with every fiber of my being. But you say that in the present tense? Yes. I mean, she's dead because you killed her? Yes. Is, but you love her? Yes, I do. Do you think you understand what love is? I mean, are you capable 